effort when you need a, 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 a start to go that deep in, in what he did? Yeah, I'm, guys got to step up. And uh, the good thing about, you know, going with Luke is he's had experience starting. And if you start midweek games for us, those are big games. And uh, you're facing good opponents. And every game matters. The, you know, the, guy talked to, the guys talked about it earlier. I mean, we play every game uh, as, as if it's a postseason game. So uh, felt like he could give us a quality start. and uh, But we knew we needed the offense to get it going. And you got to score runs. I mean, it's, it's hard to win low-scoring games at this time of the year and hitters are so locked in and um, but you know great team effort all the way around for them. You played some closing after that first game. I think they might have to calm guys down. I don't know, but it looked like they had an edge to them. There was an edge to the crowd after that game. Did that carry over at all? Yeah, I mean I think we definitely use the word edge. We use that a lot in our program. Um, it's about the way we play, the way we go at it. Um, we're a pretty emotional team. You see our pitchers um, and sometimes emotion can get the best of you too, um, but this is college baseball. That's what makes it so much fun. Um, and they take a lot of pride in this. They've worked hard for this. Uh, as I said in the in-game interview, you know, the bar is set very high here from the time we recruit them to the time they show up. And um, so we want them to enjoy this. Uh, they, they put a lot of work into it. Coach, how, much, how big of an advantage is it for you guys that you gave to go nine and a third that you only had to use? Just, it, you know, we had to play the extra game, of course. So, you know, I think we needed that uh, in a big way. And, you know, tomorrow's one of those games, all hands on deck. And uh, you love to see the look in these pitchers' eyes. They've been kind of chirping all day about who's ready tomorrow. And, um, you know, they all want the ball. That's what's fun. You know, you've got these guys who want, want the baseball tomorrow. So um, I'm sure Coach Williams will do a great job. With with Jake and with the lineup switch, did you feel like you needed something to click? And it seemed like it did. Yeah, they're good hitters. I mean, we wouldn't be in this spot. I mean, we've got really good offense. I like to say we fill up a stat sheet um, in a lot of categories. And uh, But, you know, it's contagious, and sometimes you get a little stale, and, you know, the guy in front of you is not hitting, and then you're not hitting. And, you know, we just wanted to change it up with the, the speed guys and give it a different look and try to do some different things with the bunts or the hit and runs or – who's stealing and uh, it just worked out. You know, I just, you know, for me, it's don't be afraid. I, I just, I remember texting Joe Madden a couple years ago, you know, I had some lineup questions and, um, you know, he's so bold and he was just, you know, he just kept saying, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to make changes in the lineup. And it doesn't matter what time of the year it is. Um, and I talked about it with the hitters. I gave them a heads up before they, I posted it in the dugout, you know, just gave them the heads up as to why we're just changing it up a little bit, and um, and they responded. Jake had a really good day for you in, in both games, but this game with the home run did kind of get the offense going a little bit. Yeah, no doubt. And I, you know, they're calling him, you know, postseason Jake because he's had a few of these, and, uh, but, and that's what you need. I mean, every team at every level got have guys that get hot in the postseason. And fortunately, you know, we've got a good lineup. We've got some depth. You know, I bring in Zach Britton off the bench today. Um, because he's usually in the lineup. So, you know, I, I said it all year, our depth uh, is, is big. And so whether it's the, the position players or the pitching staff, um, it showed today, hopefully it shows tomorrow. You talk defense a lot. Drew Campbell got a couple standing ovations from the crowd for his play out in the outfield today. Yeah, I've been giving Coach Vrabel a hard time because uh, Drew Campbell robbed the home run down in Florida. You were there yeah. against UConn. And, uh, you know, that was an unbelievable catch. And, uh, he does those drills every week, and uh, I give him a hard time because you know he keeps hitting balls over the fence, and um, and I've been like, you know, when are we gonna rob a home run? When are we gonna rob a home run? You just I see you doing this drill uh, every week and uh, almost every day of practice to a degree, and um, so he was probably most happy. Um, I mean, he was like a kid in a candy store running around after uh, Drew caught that one. He almost robbed the other one. You know, it looked like he was pretty close to the other one in center. Coach, you mentioned the depth of both the position team in general. But when you go through a weekend where you're playing five games in four days, how important it is pitching depth to have success? Yeah, I mean, it's at all levels. You know, what's the saying? You never have enough pitching. You know, you kind of learn that at a young age and um, at all levels. You know, what's the biggest need in the big leagues right now? Starting pitching. You know, I mean, that's just, that's just the nature of the game. So um, it's good that. 
our depth and our talent. They push each other, and the young guys learn from the older guys. And for me, I get excited just to see Carter Loman run out there. I mean, that's a talented left-handed pitcher, young guy who the future will be here before we know it. Did you consider leaving Luke anyway and get to the big game? Yeah. We wanted him to start the inning just because his velocity was up. He looked good. You know, obviously the drop fly ball, you know, we lost it in the twilight there and just felt like, um, okay, let's let him get one more. And, and um, But, yeah, at that point, you just um, – it's kind of like a guy throwing a no-hitter and then you give up a hit in the ninth and you're not going to leave him out there anymore. So, uh, after that, you just felt like we had a guy in the bullpen ready to go. And, um, and like I told him, I mean, it'd be great for him to finish the game, but sometimes it's really cool to, you know, walk off to a standing ovation. Glad he got to experience that. Dan, you you say all hands. You say all hands on deck. How how will you guys manage tomorrow with with the pitching staff? We've been here before. Um, you know, our first year here in 07, Coach Williams. You know, he lines them up, and and every day, every day, those guys throw in the outfield. Um, every day they come up to him. I'm good, or I'm a little sore. I'm a little tired. I'm good. I'm good. And you know. I, Today was one of those days when you could see guys were, were buzzing, guys were kept coming up to him. Coach, I'm good, I'm ready, I'm good. And, um, and and that's why you work so hard all year. And They gave Zach Farrell, our, our strength coach, a lot of credit, Pat Hassel, our trainer. Um, we got a lot of hands uh, helping these kids. And, uh, so they're strong and they're healthy, and, and Coach Williams does a phenomenal job um, with the health of these kids, never over pitches them, never pitches them more than two days in a row. And so when you get to a time like this, you know, this is probably the weekend you could push the envelope a little bit because um, these guys have had plenty of rest and in between uh, outings all year. Hey, you mentioned that this team had an edge today. Do you want them to have carry that edge over yeah, tomorrow? No doubt. I mean, that's 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 who we are. I mean, we're, we're going to play with that edge, whether it's February or June. Coach, I know you said it's all hands on deck for the staff, but do you know who will be pitching or is it somebody else tomorrow? Start, start well. No, I don't know who's going to start just yet. I'll, I'll talk to Coach Williams, but I can tell you just about every pitcher is going to want an opportunity to get the ball tomorrow. Thanks, Coach. Okay.